Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Formant here playing as the somewhat great power of Holland. We keep fluctuating up and down. So we were a great power, we're no longer a great power, but we are in the tail end of the Protestant Catholic War. So Bohemia joined, which has slowed down the peace of the war while well, they get absolutely annihilated by all our armies. Um, Austria is still proving to be rather stubborn about this whole affair. I am plotting a war against the Congo because I have free time, I guess. Um, so I'm going to go fight that war pretty soon. There's no reason for me to keep my army in Europe because my allies are should be more than enough. 26. Um, technically I don't have enough, do I? Oh, well, I guess we'll wait a little bit. Okay, we'll build up to our full uh, full full army transport thing, and we'll just let this war run out. Right now, there's not much else for me to do other than let the war tick on. We're colonizing. We've got good ideas. Our ruler's getting rather old, but he's still on the throne. We have a pretty solid heir. Hopefully, he doesn't die. We still have innovation ticking up. Next level, we'll get a new idea group. Uh, I guess I'll keep putting down... Uh, I'm trying not to improve just all my personal provinces. Um, always can use some peasants. Bohemia should be willing to peace out soon, but I want to see if by having Bohemia in the war we can push the war score high enough that the AIs will leave. Russia is the real problem now. They don't want to leave. Ugh, how annoying. Come on, Austria. This is getting ridiculous. I don't dare send my army up on its own because I'll get crushed, but leaving it alone is just not working either. Switzerland's got rebels. 30%. How much more? Once we take that fort, hopefully that'll let us let, net us a couple more. It's not like I'm trying to personally take land here. I'm really just staying out of the war, but... You know what? We're going for Riga. At this point, I don't think we're going to get a high enough war score versus Russia, ever. Um, Bohemia wants peace. Uh, I really want to convert Bohemia. But I also want to win the war. Thirty-one war score, still not enough. We're going to peace Bohemia out, I guess. Actually, no, we can't. We don't dare peace Bohemia out because if this goes on much longer, we get the peace of Westphalia, and we do not want that. We want to win this war. So I actually have to. I forgot all about that. Okay. Uh, we have to really hurry. Um, shame I can't get Russia out. No, I can't afford it. I'm not going to pay them tribute to let them leave the war. Um, they're the only problem left. Austria is non-existent. Yeah, Russia's a problem. Bohemia is a bit of an issue. Um, let's try and beat Bohemia's army. What do we got here? Decision. Land reclamation in Holland. Sure. Also, the Netherlands were in existence for about two minutes. Netherlands declared independence hilariously last episode and then died immediately to Burgundy because I own all the other Dutch lands, so no one can join them. So the odds of them getting enough land to survive were nothing. We're getting closer. Still not enough. No, 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 no. We want to catch that army wherever they're off to. Oh, France did it for us. The Dutch are out. It's not good. 
That's really not good. 38 war score. Surely this is getting close. Almost. Okay, if they take the last ones, I'm going to race for Riga along with France. The Danes leaving is sad. I'll say that much. But it also means that all that land Russia and Austria had occupied is no longer a factor in the war. Come on, army. We still are negative on battles. Actually, you know what? I might, well, depending on what France does, I might ignore Riga and just go straight for Livonia in order. Yeah. That'll work a little bit better. Uh, we've apparently just discovered the Arabian Sea, which is cool. I'll explore the coast. That way I actually know who lives in the Arabian Ocean. Because apparently we can see the ocean, but we don't know what the land looks like. Okay. Um, 39%. Come on. Wait, Russia is not enthusiastic anymore. Still not enough. Darn. Okay. That was just a suicidal attack by Riga, which pushed the war score up a little bit closer. I'm going to barrage this. If we can get one more battle or one more... That was some scary lag on my end. I don't know if you guys heard that. It just stuttered and ticked the coin sound for about two seconds. Um, is this enough? Come on, game. This is ridiculous. Come on, I got 57% in a 28. Come on, win the war. Dice roll. Come through for once, please. Nope. Russia's enthusiastic about the war again. I have no idea why. Why Russia wants the war. There we go. 100% war score. Perfect. Is this because I've occupied... Oh, I've won a complete victory. So, let's do this. Let's break you up. Okay, that works. Can I get... I want to see if I can get Russia out. I don't think so. No. Okay, let's see what damage we can do to Austria. Released Hungary, and we'll release Bavaria. Unfortunately, I can't force them to convert. But, there goes the religious war. We are now Emperor of the HRE. Um, I don't think we can give ourselves an electorship, but we should be able to form the Netherlands without leaving. Yes. So, because we own all the land needed of the Netherlands, but we are Emperor, we will not actually leave when I become the Netherlands. So, unexpectedly, I will say, this is the episode we become the Netherlands. Dun, da, da, dun, 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 da, da. Yeah, not really impressive. Okay, anyway, we got that. We can found, found the East India Company, which actually gets us additional colonial range. I wish I'd known that earlier. Um, and wherever our army is, once they return to our capital region, we can actually go beat up the Congo for land if we want to. Although we've just been rivaled by France. But we are out we are allied to Castile. Oh, whatever. Probably no one in the world knows who we are yet right now. So uh Okay, as all these modifiers tick off. Okay, we need some new rivals. Apparently France has rivaled us. I'm also going to rival Burgundy because we have claims on that. Do we have permanent claims or are these just temporary? These are permanent claims on B Burgundy. Okay. Um, 
we can do another relation. I'm going to ally myself to whoever the strongest person I can ally myself is to. Um, offer alliance. I think it's probably Bavaria, honestly. They're rich. They tend to be fairly useful in the long run. This Marchant's still around. Denmark's still around. Castile's still around. These guys don't like us, but we didn't take any of their land, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Um, capital and then all our trade ships. We want to protect trade in the English Channel node. Go back there. 34. Uh, we need to assign, assign electors. We need to do a lot of stuff. Um, HRE, grant electorate. I think people who are of our faith are probably a good first step. So Switzerland. Actually, I might ally these guys, then give them the electorate. They are a republic, so they are less likely to, you know, fall under someone else's control. Really wish we could give ourselves an electorate. It seems a bit odd that you can't, but I guess that would be a little too self-serving here. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't appear I can. Okay, next things. What other electors do we want? We are allied to Pomerania, so we should give them one. So we have three electors voting for us. The rest of them are voting for Brandenburg. I don't know why these guys don't like us, per se. For Onspot. Oh, reputation, I bet. And legitimacy. <sighs> How typical. Let's strengthen our government. We're going to have that event that's going to make us choose our form of government very soon, though. So, um, Do we have any missions that we can do for the Netherlands? Explore Caribbean. Okay. Settle North America. Okay. Colonize the Cape. So we have a claim on Ceylon. So it wants us to go invade Ceylon. Okay. Um, reclaim the Lowlands. We are still missing some provinces. Acquire subjects? No, we don't want to use that. We'll do high income. Build buildings. New World Charter. Oh, shoot. Once again, I have given the merchants too much power. May next year, okay. And the Janigar is the one that owns it. May next year, please. Okay, so I got two years there. Um, don't know when we get the Dutch reform. I know it's out here somewhere. Usually you get the reform pretty early on as the Dutch, I thought. Weird. I thought we got that reform pretty early on. Okay, anyway, let's spend some of this excess of cash I have. Throw down a couple manufactories, because they're honestly some of the most valuable things we can build. There we go. Blow all that cash, getting textiles, but hey, we're the Netherlands, so textiles is, again, kind of like trade. It's something we do. Um... Let's set up another trade route from here, from the Rhineland going to our lands. There we go. The House of Elsevier. Diplo power, paper, and I get good prestige and institution spread. Cool. <laughs> As everything goes to make Amsterdam like one of the world's largest ports. Which, you know, historically kind of a thing. We are making 31 gold a month. Where is our army? Oh wait, that's this guy. Are you still exploring North America? 
No, you've made it all the way to South America, and now you're lost. Ay -ay -ay. Okay, uh, we were going to go beat up the Congo, I believe. Unless we want to try and make it all the way over to, like, Sri Lanka or something, which... Honestly, I don't really want to pick a fight with Vajanagar right now. Um, unless I can charter trade company from them. I don't intend to use this mechanic, so let's see if we can. Um, charter trade company. It requires at least 600. We don't have enough. Okay. No trade company chartering today. Instead, we will go off and invade the Congo because of trade. And I'll quick do this upgrade first. We probably don't need this fleet entirely upgraded, but better have it upgraded than not. Um, we also can do colonizing all the way to Australia, almost. Can't quite make it. That one is not done yet. Um, anything here trade-wise? Zanzibar, we'll get that. What is our last one doing? State Eusatius, okay. Our colonial nations colonizing. Obviously, we're not currently working in North America. That will change once we get St. Eustatius done. Also, because we are the Netherlands, we didn't actually have any change in ideas from Holland, because they're exactly the same. Colonize Brazil, though, interestingly enough, we have a mission for. Might try to do some of that. We just have to have one province, which is weird. We've technically discovered Australia, but... Uh... Taiwan. If we do Taiwan, we get a huge benefit. Um, we want to teach this guy about war. There we go. That way our actually is not entirely incompetent when it comes to fighting a war. Because he was. Um, let's run down here. We'll attack the Congo. They have no allies at all. Um, which is kind of sad, honestly. Um, East India Ocean. We didn't really pick up any type of land we wanted, I don't think. Other than Bermuda. Which, ironically, is in the... It's in the Caribbean trade now, but Cuba doesn't own it. Um, what? Huh, weird. I guess Bermuda is just an odd exception to every rule in this case. So we own it, we could make it a core. I don't see any reason to make it a core, honestly. We're converting that by sending everyone to State Eust Saint Eustatius. Uh, sail to there, and then we will start this war versus the Congo, which we'll probably have to continue and finish next episode. When is this disaster going to fire? 70. When is this going to expire? 69. Oh, okay. Yep, there we go. It is expired. Good. Declare war. Take my Yumba. Smash their fleet effortlessly, because why would they ever have a hope of fighting me? Unfortunately, we didn't capture any of it, but yeah, well. Whole hobby, or whatever, however you say that, has been colonized. Let's snag Australia. Because that's always a good thing to snag. At least get started. If we can at least get the colonial nation started colonizing, we're in good shape. Peace with all those guys has expired. We ha would have the G Manandrel achievement if we did. I don't know why we're not having the event to turn into the Dutch Republic. Unless that's like a final thing. Not available due to me being Emperor of the HRE. Okay. It's a little frustrating. Um, 
If our ruler dies now, we become emperor again. Currently, we have enough authority to enforce our will over people in the HRE. I should see about enforcing religion, see if I can get a couple of those going. Uh, enforce religious unity. I can do it on Liege, the Platinate, Luxembourg. Austria would be a really nice one to do it on. I don't know if I could get enough influence over them in the short run. Maybe. I'll improve relations with them. It's worth a shot. But anyway, uh, that is, I think, going to be it. Unless I can somehow charter land from these guys. Um, charter company. I might be able to. So let's quick cancel that. Oh, next month. Okay, next month. We'll see about chartering a province from Vijayanagar. Can't charter a company while at war. It'd be nice if you told me that before I tried to do that a game. But uh, we'll do that. 84, yeah. They're, they're, they're a little too large. Okay, well, we'll work on that next episode. Um, all our manufacturers are going there. Um, what would this get me? Grain, I think. Um, well, we'll still build it in the Ivory Coast, because why not? So anyway, thank you guys all for watching. We are now officially the Netherlands. That only took, what, 20-some-odd episodes almost? I don't know what number I'm on, technically. So, well done. I me winning that war. I'm impressed that I actually managed to do that. Next stuff to do is probably work on consolidating the rest of the region here, which is going to be Burgundy and Geltry. <sighs> which I've got to wait till I get stuff with. I really like England as an ally again, but I don't know what that's going to entail. So anyway, we'll go to next month and then we will stop. Thank you, Stasius is done. Oops. Um, <laughs> I want to stop, but everything keeps happening. Um, let's send you to Santi up here. Let's race down here. Take this out of a state. There's no reason to leave it in a state. I'd much rather have it in a uh, trade company. And uh, that will be it for this episode. So thank you guys all for watching. Bye for now. See you next time.